Hello everybody and welcome to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here with a different video for you today as if you've stuck with me over the last few weeks you'll know I'm going to start getting into news type videos where I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown of what's happening with Liverpool over the last few days or so. I plan on doing two of these videos a week, one during in the middle of the week, one at the weekend and just to give you all of the news that's, you know, concerning our club. Um, you know, like for instance at the moment, where is Arnie Slot? Um, nobody's heard from him and you know all the transfer speculation and rumors what we can believe what we can't believe i hope you enjoy it if you do leave a like on the video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button that is the most important that one is massive and every single person makes a massive difference so i really appreciate you for doing that now let's get into this video first topic yeah where is arnie slot um this is now Wednesday, the 5th of June. He was appointed Liverpool manager on Saturday. So that's, what, five days now without even word from Arnie Slot. You expect a press conference, you know, just to announce the manager, you know, a photo shoot, even just a picture on like the Liverpool social media pages, nothing. There's memes going around, uh, you know, the, the narcos thing where your man's just sat there like, you know, waiting, you know, sadly waiting. As like, this is Liverpool fans right now, waiting. There's all sorts of stuff going around. I 100% understand it. You know, there hasn't been a word from him. Apparently there is a, a press conference scheduled, but that's it. There's no date for it to be scheduled. They, they want Arnie Slot to do a press conference, but there's no date for it or time set. So... Will we hear from him? Will we not? Is is he real? I don't know. We'll find out one day, hopefully. So let's get into the next part. I've got um, a list here because it's going to be transfer rumors and speculation. I needed to write it all down because there's so much. Um, if you watch my previous video about Arnie Slot and the way he's going to play, you'll know that we've been the rumor mill is in full swing and we're going to buy everybody. We're going to sell everybody. Everybody's going to Saudi Arabia nobody's coming to Liverpool or just a couple of people you've never heard of are coming to Liverpool, you'll know. Um, if you haven't watched that video, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave um, a little thing up here so you can watch that. Um, it's a long one, so, you know, buckle up and, you know, get a cup of tea or something. But I go through absolutely everything to do with Arnie Slot and, you know, his time at Feyenoord, what to expect from him and potential signings and how we would potentially line up, you know, for his first game in charge. If you enjoy that sort of thing, go and check out the video. So yeah, anyway, let's get back into this one with the signings, um, outgoings. The first one on the list is potential outgoings, and it is Queeveen Kelleher. Um, apparently, Wolves are interested in taking him for £20 million is what the club is asking. I would be asking an awful lot more. I think he's worth 30 to 40 million, but 20 million is where the club is at with their estimation and their evaluation. Kelleher has come out and said that he wants to go and be number one somewhere now. If he can go and do that at Wolves, fair play to him. Obviously, his career does need to progress. He's 25 years old now, and he need, you know he's looking out for himself. And of course, he's been a, a loyal servant for Liverpool. Um, and if he does go, I wish him the best of luck. He's he's been a top top notch professional, really. He's most likely if he stays at Liverpool, he will be still a backup keeper to Allison because Allison, in my eyes, is world's number one keeper. So then next on the list is the links with Gonzalo Inacio. Apparently, the club have actually come out and said that there is no con contact at the moment between Liverpool and Sporting Lisbon. So if you're unsure of who this fella is, he is a centre-back. Um, and, well, according to Transfer Market, he's worth um, around €40 million. Euro. Liverpool could have signed him last year for probably half that amount. There's actually no contact between the two clubs and there's no negotiations happening. So at the moment, that is not on. So next on the list, Kefren Turam. We were heavily linked with him last season. Um, it was him, and then it was Casado, and then Lavia. And they just, them reports just sort of died off. Apparently, Liverpool are, you know, looking at him again. He would be the endo replacement, like that number six replacement. Um, again, like I said in that video about Arnie Slot, if we do sign players, I really think we need a centre back. I think we need a number six, like a holding midfielder, like that endo. He was just sort of like a, a quick fix solution. Where now 
we've got a full transfer window. Hopefully we'll go and find the, the permanent fix for that. And Kefren Turam again is on the radar for Liverpool. Another player that Liverpool have been linked with is the final right back. Now I'm probably going to absolutely butcher his name. Um, it's Lutcherel Gertrida. Um, I'm like I said, I don't know how to pronounce that, but he's a young right back. Apparently, he was nearly signed by Leipzig last season for 32 and a half million, but then ultimately that fell through. But apparently, the similar sort of amount could get him again. The only thing is, I don't think right back is where we need strengthening. Um, I fully believe Trent is up there with the best in the world and Connor Bradley is a very able deputy so going for a right back doesn't sort of make sense if I look at it logically maybe slot is actually looking at putting Trent into midfield therefore you would need a right back for Connor Bradley to be the backup to and if you know slot thinks that the right back and if he thinks that the right back that he had at fine order is good enough then fair enough um, that was just reported this morning then also another one of Slot's players at Feyenoord, the forward man, the front man, the centre forward, Santiago Jimenez. Apparently, Liverpool were interested in him, but that is more likely looking like he is going to be going to um, AC Milan to replace Olivier Giroud. Um, and that is going to be reportedly for about £43 million. So that is not looking good for Liverpool if they really did want to sign him. Another signing that Liverpool are looking at another player we're heavily linked with anyway. And again, I'm, I don't know about this one, to be honest with you. It's Crescencio Somerville from Leeds. I did say this in my slot video. I don't watch a lot of Leeds football, but I do have a friend who supports Leeds. I talk to him quite a lot. And he says Somerville is a brilliant player on his day. The only thing is his day is not very often. He can play for a, he played good for one game, and then he could be go missing for six, seven games. And that's not what Liverpool need. Liverpool need somebody who is at it for a lot, for a lot of games, 30, 40, 50 games per season. We need top class players. I mean, you see that we've seen it far too often. Um, we missed out on a quadruple because we needed a Thiago replacement, basically. If Thiago was fit that season, I think and he, if he wasn't injured, I think we probably would have gotten closer to a quadruple. Same, obviously, this fella might not be injured, but form, form-wise, you need to be at it 30, 40, 50 games per season. It does make sense, Somerville, um, he would be an attack-minded option. Um, I think he does play out on the left wing, but, you know, they, they can switch quite handily, especially in Liverpool, we do that quite often. And... I do think what we need is a centre back that hold a midfielder and then an attack player. I think that is the three signers that we need. So Somerville does fit that that bill, but I just don't think he's the one. I'd prefer somebody like Kudus or Elise. They're Premier League ready, proven in the Premier League as well. Um, of course, I wouldn't mind Bowen either, but I just don't see us signing Bowen. I just think that's just too high profile. Finally, there's a couple of outgoings, and I don't know how true these are, how speculative these are. They could just be, you know, fishing line with a hook on the end, just trying to get people like me to bite and have a look. I did click in, I had a look. It is Joe Gomez and Luis Diaz. Obviously, Luis Diaz been linked with Barcelona, heavily linked with Barcelona. Gomez, I've heard that he's a bit unhappy with his role at Liverpool. Um, but other than that, I don't see why Gomez would be unhappy. He played an awful lot of football last season. But this rumour anyway is linking the pair of them to the Saudi Pro League. Um, yeah, take that one with a pinch of salt. Um, that said, if a massive offer did come in for the two of them, I'd quite possibly let them go. I mean, I'd, I'd be sad to see Gomez go. Not as sad to see Diaz go, but they can be replaced. That's the thing. There's no player bigger than the club. It's like Salah to the Saudi league. If a hundred million big comes in for him, do you take it? Knowing that he'd probably go for a free next season? You probably do. That's it for the video today. That's the 5th of June. I'll be back again in a couple of days, guys, with probably another long list like this. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I really do appreciate it.
please do leave a like on the video and also hit that subscribe button that's the most important really appreciate that guys thank you again up the fucking reds